Hello guys, welcome to my vlog, welcome to Alida Kitchen Ireland and I would like to say thanks and appreciation for all the people who like and subscribe, especially I've crossed 100 subscribers, it really means a lot, your love, your kindness. Thank you, thank you, thank you and those people who are new to my channel, please like, subscribe and press the bell icon button so you will get the first notification. Today we are going to share with you one of the amazing recipes which can be easily done in very easy and very, very uh, Mm, affordable way which is called chicken tikka masala and we are going to show you what basic ingredients we're going to need so the basic ingredients that we need to cook the chicken tikka masala is about 100 to 150 gram which is equal to one uh, chicken fillet diced it's up to your size whatever you take I'm making portion for two people so that would be enough I have one medium so size onion chopped in the squares diced in the squares and the reason for dicing in the squares because it's very easy to cook and make in a paste if you have a two fresh tomatoes you can blend them you can chop them quickly i'm using the canned tomato so this is a half canned tomato two tablespoon of fresh yogurt if you don't have a yogurt you can use a cream even if you don't want to use a yogurt if you don't want to use a cream you can stay with the tomato sauce now for the powder ingredients this is one tablespoon of mixed spice, all spice, or you can say in garam masala. Followed by, we have one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of red pepper, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of black pepper powder, and one tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste. And I have refined rapeseed oil, or you can use sunflower oil, vegetable oil. Now, this is the soaked basmati rice, which is one cup, served for the two portions very easily. I am using uh, the basmati rice because I would love to have my chicken tikka curry with basmati rice. If you don't like it, you can have it either with the garlic bread naan or any naan that you like. So let's crack on this. So the first step, as you can see, I took the two pans. On this pan, I'm just boiling the water for my basmati rice and this is the pan. So I, I pre had the pan. One and a half tablespoon of oil and that would be enough and you just have to let it a little bit of hot it, the pan is hot enough but I'm just gonna give it a little bit few more seconds and I think it's it's pretty hot enough now it's the time when you're going to add and cook your onion until they are a little light brown in color now once your onion are into the oil you just have to just keep stir fry them just make sure they doesn't get stick to the bottom of the pan and it will make real quick uh, make them soft and this is the easy way to make it and that there are plenty of ways you can marinate the chicken first bake them first or uh, you can barbecue them first but this recipe can easily be done under 20 25 minutes so you need 10 to 15 minutes for the boiling the rice and then the curry needs 20 25 minutes and those people who are new to the channel if they know how to make the Braspati Pilao rice, they can look into the, my channel, look into my one of the vlogs and you will see the videos over there. So we have to wait until the onions get brown. So guys, it's been 10 minutes and this is the color of the onion that we need to achieve. Now at this point, we are going to add our chicken. And just going to mix with them and straight ahead we are going to put our ginger garlic paste and just mix them together for just a few seconds until the chicken change the color while on the other hand as you can see the water is boiling up and it's time it's almost ready to put my rice in it as you can see the chicken has started to change the color and on the other hand on my pan i put into the boiling water my rice and I turn the knob down bring it to the medium heat now it will literally take eight minutes to uh, boil the rice while in the meantime we had just added our ginger garlic paste now it is time to add our spices just to blend them in put pepper turmeric red chili powder salt garam masala and now we are just going to mix them 
just to make sure that all the chunks of the chicken covered enough space. As you can see, the red spice is going to play a very important role to bring it to the color of the tikka masala. Now this is the time where you're going to add your tomato paste. And you're going to have to let it simmer for at least two to three minutes. At this point, you can bring it down to the little low flame heat just to make sure it doesn't get burned off. And cover the lid and let it cook for next five minutes. Now the five minutes gone and this is the time where you can see the, the curry and the, the rice are almost beginning to get it ready. And I'm going to achieve the texture of the required curry color. Now this is the time where you can add the yogurt and you can let it cook for approximately eight to nine or better for best result for 10 minutes and just stir fry it. And then you will see the better result once they're done. So guys, you can see that 10 minutes gone and I get my texture. My chicken is tender. My chicken tikka masala is ready. My rice are done, they're ready to serve. So it's time to dish out, so let's dish out. So guys, our delicious chicken tikka masala with basmati rice is ready to serve. I hope you enjoy and like the recipe. Please subscribe, like, and uh, leave your comments in the box. I hope to see you soon. Thank you for liking, bye.